Dirk, so nice to see you again, my friend. Hey, Johan. Welcome back to Willebius Pond. Thanks. Great. You had a great trip. Yeah, I know. It looks like you guys have lots of rain. Yeah, the roads are wet. <laughs> but, uh, welcome back. Let's go have a cup of coffee. Yeah, let's go have coffee. Dirk, I'm so glad to see that you guys had so plenty rain around here. I mean, for the vegetation, for the animals, that's awesome news. We were very lucky. We had, a, we had three very dry seasons. Um, actually, five, which three of them were devastating. And yeah, now fortunately we had some rain, and now yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be everything's gonna be much harder for the coming season. I think the vegetation is gonna be lots more than the last previous two years. Yeah. But uh, but hunting isn't easy, and yeah. we are looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but luckily we've got feed. We've been we've been feeding quite a lot for the last couple of years, and now this mm. year it looks like we'll have a little bit of a rest. Yeah, I know that's awesome. It takes lots of financial pressure off from you guys. Definitely. And um, yeah, I mean. With the drought, so many guys have lost so many animals, so it's good to see that there's plenty of rain. So the, with the vegetation that picked up, it means the population of the animals will pick up also again. I know we, we, we all need this break. It's going, to be, it's going to be wonderful. We just hope that the rain will continue in the new coming season and the remaining of the season. Okay, so let's quickly talk about why you invited me back. You told me I must prepare my Raven R26. Yeah. And uh, so what do you have in store for us? No, we're always just... Um, hunting normal plains games. We were fortunate to have done that uh, that, that um, copper springbuck. Yeah, on episode nine. And yeah. now I think we're gonna we're gonna try and see if we can get a, a white face impala. Really? Because uh, I think the all the the color variants are getting more and more affordable for the for the local hunters. Yes, yes. And uh, and there is a uh, there is a big um, upcoming um, in the in the in bottom hunters hunting the. The color variants, and yeah. yeah, we have to for those guys who who, who still need to be de to be introduced. We'll we'll definitely make a plan and introduce them to the blackface impala for now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, let's go see if we can get one of them. It's going to be a hard hunting because it's <laughs> the weather is not not that much in our favor for bow hunting. It's beginning of the season. Yeah. But yeah, we had to we had to wait for everybody to open up their doors again, and yes. especially on the taxidermy side, the monsters are from orders of taxidermy. Yes. Um, everybody's back at back at the offices, yeah. so at least now we can we can we can start hunting again. Yeah, especially so. when hunting this kind of animal, you have to be certain of the pre preparation work while slaughtering, and also when you're taking your cape to the taxidermy. So, couldn't hunt those animals while the guys are still close. You would stand the chance of losing your cape. Yeah, I know they still a little bit more expensive than the normal animals, so <laughs> nobody wants to to, to get up a bad rap of that. Yeah, I know, Dirk. Yo, for me. It's going to be an awesome opportunity to get the chance to hunt this specific animal. When I went online and looked at animals that are not easily hunted, uh, that white-faced impala is one of them that popped up. So I'm really excited to get the chance to be able to hunt this. I yeah, know we, we definitely have to go give it a go and see if we can get a nice one. Yeah. Good representative and yeah, and hopefully um, the, the 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 local people will, will will get more into hunting these color variations. Yes. We've we've shot a lot of golden willabies of local hunters so far, and uh, quite a few guys shot black impalas. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll also get the chance to to hunt all of them before the end of the season. Yeah. Because I think hunting the slam, and especially for guys that's doing collections, trophy yes. collections, can make such nice collection in their trophies. Yeah. Having shot. All the animals in the slams, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's that's the Willebius, the Springbuck, and the um, the, the Impalas as well. Yes. So yeah, no, we're, we're definitely going to give it our best shot and see if we can get it. Uh, the the Raven is going to be the, our better option because yeah. we go we're going to have to walk and stalk. Yeah, no chance we're going to get that guy out of our height this time of the year. No, no. so it's it's gonna, not going to be easy. Mm. But, but we're definitely going to give it our best shot. Yeah, when it's so green, I know the animals don't tend to come to the blinds that often. You can sit two days without any animal coming to the blind, so... Yeah, oh, luckily bow hunting is not just about the... Hunting out of the blinds is always excited. Yeah. And uh, yeah, in, in this time of year, we the vegetation let us walk and stalk, which, which is not the whole year, throughout the year. It's a, it's, a, it's a very good chance for us to go yeah, do yeah. a nice walk and stalk. And I know when uh, Quentin was with us here, he didn't get the chance to shoot that golden. Uh, but um, at least we get the chance to shoot that white face in Poland now. Definitely, yeah. And whenever Quentin has got a gap in between his cricket and everything, we'll, we'll definitely be back yeah. with that golden will just because that challenge is still up for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we definitely have to get him as well. But Dirk, 
Cheers on that. Let's see if we can get that animal. Cheers. It's the older ram. The other one, his branch is in front of the other one. We have to take the one on the left. Okay. So look, looks like about 42 yards. Okay. 42 yards. Okay, are you ready? Okay, I'm on him. Can take, I take, take the, the shot? shot? Take the shot, take the shot. Joe, you got it. You got it. <laughs> Why flank is A little bit to the front. Yeah. Let's just give you the chance. You've got it. That's a nice shot. Oh. Great shot, great Eric, shot. thanks. Yes, we've got that one. My friend, we've got it. <laughs> Yo, white flanking Paula. Yes, that's what this has been. While we've been after them, right? Yeah, it didn't make it easy. No, no <laughs> ways, no ways, but it's never easy. Yo. It's never easy. Derek, this is a magnificent animal. White flanked Paula. I've only seen a few images of them in the Voltenjag. So to be able to get the chance to hunt this awesome animal, it's a great privilege for me. Yeah, yes, Johan, I'm just glad we got it. Eh? The weather was not good. The last few days and we've been after them for quite some time they were quite skittish because they don't need to, to come to the food or drink water or nothing they're yeah. quite independent now of the felt being so beautiful yeah, after yeah. we've been so privileged to have so such a lot of rain and yeah it's not it's not an easy time of the year to hunt but we got it eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah that that's why we use the products to help us you know especially you know, when it's not hunting season you have to have all the advantages to come close to the animals to get a shot. So you yeah. use those products to help you. And for all the guys out there, if you want to do the Grand Slam on the Impalas, Bolivia Spun is the place to go. They can help you with Impalas. Uh, Will the beast you guys can do the Grand Bolibius Slam. Bolivia for sure. And Bolibius Springbok as well. Sure. Springbok as well, yes, definitely. Uh, so I don't think it's a lot of opportunity for bow hunters always to get them. Well, on a bow hunt or crossbow hunt, doesn't matter. But no, we definitely, we can definitely set the guys up and help the guys to get them. And uh, yeah, no, we got a nice old ram, yeah. beautiful old ram. And uh, yeah, no, so I'm just, I'm just glad we got it. Yeah. Because the time was running out, and yeah, yeah. It, was, it was, it was, a hard hunt. Yeah, it's a last day for us for hunting, so the time was running out. But at, at last, we got this beautiful ram. And Dirk, thanks again for this great no, opportunity. You're always welcome. Thank you very much, Johan. No, thanks.